Folks, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have already lost a couple of safeties in free agency with Mike Edwards joining the Kansas City Chiefs and Keanu Neal joining the Pittsburgh Steelers. But they have made themselves a new addition in the form of former Atlanta Falcons and most recently Seattle Seahawks safety Ryan Neal, who last year actually started 10 games with the Seahawks. He finished with one total interception. He had eight passes defended, one forced fumble, one sack, and 66 total tackles with four tackles per loss. This is a connection, one of the first, if not really main connections that the Bucks have had so far to former Seattle Seahawks quarterbacks coach and current offensive coordinator Dave Canales. And Neal overall is still a pretty serviceable safety. As I said, started 10 games last year for the Seahawks. Before that, he started five in 2021 and four in 2020. So he does have starting experience as a safety in the past already. He is six foot three, 200 pounds, so very good size as well. He's only 27 years old, so he definitely does figure to be a player who should possibly step in and be a starter right away if you need him to. It definitely is, at the very least, I would say, a good depth addition. Gives you somebody along with current safeties, Antoine Winfield Jr. and Nolan Turner. And look, at the end of the day, adding a safety period was needed. There's been discussions revolving around Logan Ryan. Will they? Won't they bring him back? And the possibility of bringing Logan Ryan back is still out there 100%, as is the possibility of the Buccaneers possibly drafting a safety in the early rounds of the NFL draft. You take a look at Brian Branch in round one. You take a look at some of the other safeties like Sidney Brown in the later rounds of this upcoming draft. And there are certainly a lot of safety options out there for sure. And I don't think that this signing deters the team from any type of other additions or any types of re-signings and whatnot either. I still think bringing Logan Ryan back is a huge thing. In fact, I was going to make a whole video about Logan Ryan, and I still may do that, but whenever you look at the advanced statistics, Logan Ryan was very good for the Buccaneers last year. He was very good in coverage, allowed a very good in terms, a good amount, I guess I should say, in terms of completion percentage when passes were thrown towards his way. Keanu Neal and Mike Edwards did struggle a little bit in terms of pass coverage, but they were still pretty solid tacklers and good blitzers as well. Whenever you had a guy like Logan Ryan, it was definitely more of a I guess I should say coverage type of guy versus a hard hitting run stopping type of guy. But I think with Neil, you get a little bit of a combination of both, right? You're going to get a guy that is obviously big enough to where he can be a run stopper. When you're six foot three, 200 pounds, yeah, you're going to be pretty darn good at hitting people. And whenever you take a look at his pass coverage ability as well, you know, eight pass breakups, an interception here or there is nothing to sneeze at either. I think that that is also a situation to where he can excel. I may make a separate video to dive into the advanced statistics of Ryan Neal a little bit, but I think that overall, this is still a good signing. We don't have the contract numbers yet, whatever it may be. You assume it's probably going to be a minimum, a league minimum type of deal, something that the Buccaneers have had to do a lot this offseason due to all of the salary cap limitations that they have had and things along those lines. So it would not be surprising if it was a league minimum type deal, but it also wouldn't surprise me if you know, Ryan Neal got a little bit of money. And I'm going to be interested to see how Neal develops. Because whenever you look at the development that Todd Bowles has given some of these safeties in the past, you look at Antoine Winfield Jr., obviously. He's been an absolute all-star for the Buccaneers the past couple of years since he was drafted in the second round. You look at Mike Edwards. He has done some really good things under Todd Bowles. Jordan Whitehead went out into free agency last year, got paid after having some pretty good years under Todd Bowles. Keanu Neal, I think, rebounded in a pretty big way going from the Dallas Cowboys to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and playing one season under Todd Bowles as head coach and as just a defensive mind in general. But even going back to his time with the New York Jets, I think that Todd Bowles was definitely a guy who was able to bring out a lot in his safeties, regardless of who it may have been. Undrafted guys, early draft picks, late draft picks, whatever it may have been, I think that Bulls really does work well at developing safeties. And I think this will be a position that he is going to continue to grow and develop. And I think they've really got an underrated signing here in Ryan Neal. So welcome Ryan Neal to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Going to be very excited to see what he does, be it as a starter. He's already got experience as that, be it as a backup. He's already got experience in that as well. And yeah, hopefully we just continue to see some more continuity with their safety play. This certainly fits what the Buccaneers needed in a big-bodied safety. And 
We'll see what other moves they make here along the lines of possibly adding depth or even potentially starters to their position groups. Anyway, folks, let me know what you think about this signing. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.